So there's two different ways to make a Google slide presentation on your iPad. Um, the first way is to use the Slides app. Now the Google Slides app uh, works pretty well. Uh, the only problem is it's somewhat basic. It's missing some features that the desktop version has. But essentially the way it works is I open up the Slides app and then down in the bottom right hand corner there's a plus sign and I create a new presentation. And I give it a name. And then go ahead and click create. And it's going to create a blank presentation that looks like this. And I can simply double tap and I can type in my own text and double tap and type in text here. Um, all of the text boxes in here are editable. I can click on the lines and I can rearrange them. I can delete them. I can get rid of things if I need to. I have my basic text text editing options up here, bold italics, underline, strike through. I can change the text color and highlight color if I need to. I can center it or left or right, justify it just like that. Um, if I would need to add a new slide, I can simply click this new slide button in the bottom left hand corner. And this will give me some templates for some basic slide types. So maybe I need something with a bulleted list. Uh, and maybe I'll choose something like this is my title and two column slide. Same deal, it gives me a spot to do two columns and I can type in uh, a title on this slide. And then again, I have two columns here to be able to add some text. If I decide I don't need two columns, again, I can click on this one and simply tap delete. Uh, and then maybe I will click on this one and then tap on the size uh, sides here and resize it to whatever I need. So I can still adjust these things any way I want. And then let me go ahead and add one more slide down here in the bottom left hand corner. And when I tap here, this time I'm going to go ahead and just do a title only slide. And here again, I can double tap to add a title and then so on. Now, if I wanted to, let's say, maybe add something besides text to my slide, um, that's where these buttons up here come into play. So I have a plus sign, and if I tap on the plus sign, these are the different things that I can add. I can add different text boxes. I can insert images. I can insert shapes, lines, tables, or even website links if I need to. So if I wanted to insert an image, I would go ahead and click, click on image, and then I can either choose images that are in my photo library or images from my camera. So if I, I need to take pictures, I could do it from camera and take my own pictures. Or if I've already saved pictures off the internet or already taken pictures, those would be in my photo library. And so those would show up here. So first time I access it, it's gonna say, hey, do you wanna give it access to your photos? I say, sure. And then it's gonna open up my photo library and this is gonna show me uh, the photos that I have in here. So maybe I want this dog picture. And when I click on them, it'll insert him into the slide. Now I can click on the corners, I can resize, I can click and drag to move him around if I need to. I can totally customize how he looks or how he works on my slide. And then a couple other things I can do if I wanted to fancy up my slides a little bit up here in the upper right hand corner where these three dots are, um, I can choose themes for my slide. So instead of just a plain white background, I could choose to give my slide uh, a little bit of style by choosing a theme. Maybe I'll choose this one here. And then that will go ahead and theme my slides um, and it makes all of the fonts and sizes and colors and everything match like that. I can also, under here, um, add speaker notes. If I'm gonna give a live presentation, I can turn on speaker notes, which gives me a spot down here at the bottom to type in some notes to yourself or some certain things that you wanna make sure you point out. Um, I could turn on um, guides if I want to, to be able to see uh, the center points of my slide. Uh, but for the most part, that's really all there is to it. Um, if you needed to collaborate with somebody else, you can choose to share and export, and then you can share this slideshow with other people. So I could turn it into a teacher, or I could give somebody else access to it to be able to make changes to it. Maybe you're in a group project, for example. Let me turn my guides off here. You can also access sharing options right here uh, at the top. That is all there is to the basic app. Now the app is missing features like animations, transitions, some of the fancier things um, do not exist in the Google Slides app. 
If you wanted to do some of those things, then what you would need to do is you would need to actually use Safari to do that. Now, if I want more options in my Google Slides, then what I need to do is I need to actually delete the Google Slides app off of my iPad. And I can do that by finding the Slides app wherever I keep it, it might be in a folder or on my desktop. And if I tap and hold down with my finger, um, it'll start to wiggle eventually. And I can simply tap that little X in the corner. And when I tap on that X, it'll say, do you want to delete this app? And if I say yes, delete, it will remove the Slides app from my iPad. Now, you might be thinking, well, wait, why did you delete the app? Because now how am I going to make my slides? Well, I'm not going to do that in the desktop version of Google Slides, which only works in Safari. So if I open up Safari and I simply go to google.com, you'll notice I now have the waffle up here in the upper right hand corner. And I can click on the waffle and I could go down to Google Slides. And as long as I've deleted the app first, this now takes me to the desktop version of Google Slides. You'll see, here's my all about me presentation that I made in the app before. Um, you can also go up here in your website bar and you could simply type in slides.google.com and hit go. And this will also take you to the desktop version of Google Slides. And again, that only works in Safari. So now if I found my presentation from before and I double click it or double tap on it to open it up, this is the desktop version of Google Slides which it may tell you, hey, did you know we have a Slides app? I can say, no thanks, I'm not interested. Um, looks similar to the app, but you'll see I have a lot more options up here on different things that I can add. So for example, I can now add transitions that I couldn't do before. And so I could do a transition on my slides from one to the next. And there's a whole list of different transitions to choose from that I can choose. And I could apply it to one slide or all slides and so on. Um, I could also click on an object. So if I tap on my dog here with my finger under that same animation, or excuse me, a transition button, I have the ability to add an animation now to an object. So if I tapped add an animation, I could have the dog fade in or fly in or zoom in or spin in or so on, all right? And it would happen on click when I did that. I can control the speed uh, and so on. So when I'm done, I can play it to test it out to see what it would look like. There's my cube transition. And then when I click, here comes my dog flying in now, All right? So I have the ability to add some fancier features to my presentation if I use the desktop version of Google Slides. When I'm all finished, if I'm ready to present, I have a present button up here at the top. I can simply hit start presentation. It will go full screen and it allows me to present simply by uh, tapping on the screen and it'll go from slide to slide. And if I tap one more time, here's my animated dog. And then the end of my presentation, I can simply tap the X in the top. And that is all there is to Google Slides.